Come on, we should get started. And I'll still be there when you're done. Head over to the warehouse. Hey, over here! Go around the back! Okay, that's good. You can follow basic directions. That's a start. Look, it's getting late. I'd like to be in my bunk before midnight. I'm not gonna ride you. Let's keep it short. Let's cover everything. Head on inside. Time to gear up. Grab the sidearm on the table. This is your personal weapon. You can modify it as you see fit. You will be issued a primary weapon on deployment based on your role, and you will always have the option to carry a secondary. Move into the next room. I know you've already had combat training. This is an assessment. Let's start with a warm-up. I want you to hit this target ten times as close to the center as you can. Try it without using your iron sights. Alright. You gonna shoot or what? Good. Now I'm gonna lower a moving target. I want you to hit it at least ten times as it's moving. You can try using your sights now. Can't hit it. It's supposed to be a warm up, man. Get focused. Good. You can operate a firearm. Congratulations. Let's move up to the next area. See those crates? Those are weapon caches. They're a very important strategic asset. The enemy will attempt to find and destroy these to cripple our supplies and gain the advantage. And we'll try to do the same to theirs. You can resupply your team's weapon caches in the field if you have enough supplies. Go over to the firing booth. Take down those targets as quickly as you can. It's two hits per target. Ready? Set? Go! Alright, that's enough. That was over 35 seconds. What the hell are you doing? This is an assessment. Quit fucking around. For this next exercise, I want you to sprint to the next location and jump over any obstacles on your way there. Move as fast as you can. I'll open a path for you on your right. Ready? Go. I said sprint. Run to the next position. Go back to the booth. Hurry it up this time, okay? Ready? Go! Tired? Try aiming down your sights now. If you exhaust yourself like that, you need a couple seconds to slow down your breathing and be accurate again. Keep that in mind. 
See the pit with the van and the building across? We placed some targets there. They'll pop up in a second. I want you to hit them as you see them. Get ready. Good, so you can shoot accurately over 20 feet with your sidearm. Remember that you have your sidearm to fall back on if you run dry in your primary. Let's head back inside for the next exercise. Follow me. Here's another weapon cache. I want you to get familiar with resupplying. It's very important. You won't be any use to your team if you run out of ammunition. So watch your ammo. Keep an eye out for your team's weapon caches. You can also change your gear at a weapon cache. You have the choice between light and heavy armor for protection, and a chest rig or a chest carrier for ammunition. A chest rig will allow you to carry the standard amount of ammo, whereas the chest carrier allows you to carry more, but it's gonna be a bit heavier. Always keep an eye on how much gear you're carrying. It'll affect your weight, how fast you can move, and how quickly you'll get fatigued. Go ahead and equip the light armor and a chest rig. You've got a contract going with a supplier, so those two items are free for us. Get used to wearing them. Gear up and move up. Okay, let's get serious. This is your standard CQC exercise. You're gonna move from room to room, eliminating all the targets as fast as you can. Get ready. Go! Please, keep moving! Crawl under! Speed it up, recruit! Speed it up! Are you done? That was awful. Are you taking this seriously? Stop screwing around. Look, I don't know where they found you, all right? And I've got no idea what the hell they were thinking, but you really need to step it up. This is a dangerous line of work. You perform like this, and you put yourself and others in danger. Do you understand what I'm saying? Start learning and learn quick. All right, we're done for the sidearm training. Move up to the next building for primary weapon training. I'll meet you there. Welcome to primary weapon training. You've just received supplies. You and your team will be awarded these supplies for completing objectives or defending our weapon caches. Make sure to always know what your team's current goal is. If you fulfill this goal, you will get more supplies to continue fighting. We get paid to do a job. We have contracts, specific tasks, and expectations that we need to meet. Always pay attention to the briefing, and you'll be rewarded properly. Now, grab a primary weapon from the weapon cache with the supplies you just received. This is a standard issue primary weapon. Depending on your role in the field, you have different primary weapons available to you. For example, if you're a marksman, you have access to different high-caliber battle rifles. If you're a support, you'll probably be carrying an LMG. You get the idea. Eliminate all those targets through the plywood. Get acquainted with your primary.
Now, keep in mind, different weapon calibers will penetrate different materials. Being in concealment is not the same as being in cover, and that goes for the enemy as well. Be mindful of how thick your cover is, and what weapons are being fired at you. Now, follow me. Let's talk about your gear, weapon modifications and attachments. You've just been given additional supplies. You can now purchase some attachments for your primary weapon or your sidearm. Regular weapon attachments include aim assists, like scopes for long-range engagements and non-magnifying sights for close to medium-range engagements. Other attachments will affect your recoil and handling, like the foregrip, which will decrease your recoil. You also have the option for a heavy barrel for long-range engagements, which will stabilize your aim. Other than those, you can find your suppressors, which will muffle your shots and hide your muzzle flash. You also have a laser sight to help you aim. It can be difficult to land your shots if you're not aiming down your sights. Having a pointer that tells you where your round will hit helps with that. It has decent range, just don't blind your buddies with it. And finally, you've got your flashlight attachment. I'm not going to lecture on that one, it's pretty clear what it does. Try out a few attachments on those targets over there. Take your time. Just get familiar with them and meet me in the warehouse when you're done. Hey! You see the wrecked car? That's a control point! You and your team will be required to capture strategic CP in the area of operation. You need to make sure the control point is clear before you capture it. It is important to secure the perimeter around the CP. Go and capture the car. Good. Now make your way to the next waypoint, clearing the warehouse as you go. Eliminate all the targets. Inside. Done. I'm outside. Come see me. Alright, we're gonna talk about long-range engagements. But before we do that, let's make use of that flashlight attachment of yours. If you don't have one, go ahead and resupply from the weapon cache over there. If you don't have enough supplies for it, you can trade some of your current equipment to get supplies. You're gonna be juggling supplies a lot. Don't be afraid to sell something important to get something more important. Now, we've placed five portraits of a dear old friend of ours out there in the dark. You might be able to see him without it, but I recommend you use your flashlight. Take him out. 